Tebe, somewhere in the country. Cool 100, Tebe, thank you for being here. How's it going? Awesome. What a great song, and I thank mean you. that. Thank you. Uh, congratulations on the success of this. The first time I heard it, it's one of those windows down, radio up loud kind of songs, and uh, well done on that. Thanks, man. No, it's, it's doing great at radio, and thanks for playing it. Uh, we appreciate you being here, and uh, Cole, our promo guy, he couldn't be happier. He said <laughs> when he got into work this morning, he said he was so looking forward to this visit that he actually washed his hair this morning. So, Oh, wow. That's the truth. You're welcome. I mean, I'm an influential <laughs> individual. <laughs> Uh, you are. Uh, not only congratulations on the new song, but Tebe, congratulations on the new child. I have a new baby girl. That's um, the most important thing, really, isn't it? Above you know, the music, above everything. It's amazing. It's our first child. And a little baby, Elle. Uh, she's almost three months old now. And uh, it's, it's changed my life. It's absolutely amazing. Well, we talked off air just a moment ago yeah. about how tough it is in the profession you're in. You're a songwriter, you're a musician, you're on the road a lot. And you got a three-month-old at home. It's hard. I'm never home uh, these days. It seems like I'm, I'm hardly ever back in Nashville, uh, which is really hard because I'm missing little things, you know. But uh, it's just one of those things. You got to get get through it and got to strike while the iron is hot. And we're having some success right now, so got to be out here doing what I do and, and visiting radio folks like yourself. Well, we appreciate it again. It's always a pleasure to have people like yourself in the studio. We got a new CD that's on the horizon for you out on uh, store shelves and online on December fourth. December 4th, uh, The Wait is the title of the record. Um, man, it just, it's, it's been a long time coming. It seems like we've, been made, we've made this record, we've been making this album for over two years uh, since I first started writing for it. So uh, it's good to finally have it in stores on iTunes uh, December 4th. Uh, good stuff. Perfect time of year to get that out there, too, for country music fans on anyone's wish list. Certainly a good stocking stuffer idea. Uh, December 4th, the big day on that. Now, uh, I want to talk about your songwriting because... Uh, People may not necessarily realize they hear songs on the radio, but uh, the, the amount of songwriting credits, if we went through the list, we'd be here till this time tomorrow. <laughs> and it's not just limited to country either, and that's what's key. Yeah, you know, I just, uh, I kind of took some time off. Uh, I kind of came onto the scene back in, I'm going to say, 03, with a song called We Shook Hands Man to Man. And some of your listeners might remember that song for real well first. But mm -hmm. I took some time off in between and became... Uh, I don't want to say I became a songwriter, but I, I kind of focused more on the songwriting aspect of the music business and, and have had some, some success over the last little bit. Um, so yeah, and it, just feels, it feels good now to be back as an artist you know, and, and singing my own songs and, and finally getting this record out. Thinking about your visit today driving into work, I got thinking about just that, how it's nice to be back uh, in the scene as an artist. Some people, you know, people on the street not necessarily privy to what goes on in the business may think, just because someone's not releasing music means that they're on the couch with a bag of cheesies, and that's not the case. No, not the case. I mean, after we shook hands, uh, I kind of just moved into a different aspect where I was writing songs for other artists behind the scenes. Uh, you know, Emerson Drive and, and Jason Blaine, and, and recently One Direction, uh, which is a totally different genre of music. It's it's boy band pop music, but um, it's great when I can get out of my comfort zone and, and write for people like that. Interesting. Again, I want to back up the bus just a second. A lot of people may go, oh, what? One Direction, of course. Anybody, uh, even country music fans listening to us right now, they may have kids who would understand that One Direction is enormous. They're the big deal right now in, in, in the pop genre. And you've got two songs on their new CD. I do, yeah. The record, uh, the One Direction's album, Take Me Home, came out last week, and it sold a million copies in the first week. Which is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, you know, I don't know if country music fans are familiar with sales, but that is massive. Um, so it's a real pleasure to be on that record. Um, you know, I've said it before. It's like Backstreet Boys all over again. It's 2013 Backstreet Boys. Um, so they're a worldwide phenomenon, and it was really cool to work with the guys. And um, I got to fly over to London to, to record with them, which was really cool. Wow. There's probably a lot of like 14 year old girls listening right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but no, it was a great experience. It was really cool. Oh, but, well, I, I said off air that I had mentioned to my daughter, who will be nine soon, that you had written songs for One Direction. Yeah. Now you're a rock star in her eyes, too. Awesome. Yeah, She loves your country stuff, let alone <laughs> the fact that you're writing for One Direction. Now, you'd mentioned writing for Emerson Drive. They've got a new CD out as well that you've got seven song writing credits on. Seven songs, yeah. You know what? I, uh, I followed Brad and Danik from Emerson Drive around long enough, and they finally let me sit down and write some songs with them, and... Uh, and we all live in Nashville. We all live uh, within a very close proximity of each other. So 
they would come over, you know, a couple days a week for, for several months at a time, and, and it just so happened that when they went in to record their album, uh, my name had seven, or seven songs had my name on it, which is pretty cool. Sacrifice enough. I can't count the things I'm giving up in the name of love. I started closing every door just to keep myself from hurting anymore in the name of love. For many years. notes while you're performing and by the way awesome job what a voice thank you um the wilkinsons have the wilkinsons. songwriting credit with you on that the man yeah Tyler? now known as the small town pistols yeah well and they're from here yeah just down, down the road, road eh? that's how i knew where y'all were at i just uh you know stopped in at the wilkinsons said what's up and uh, come over here cool glad <laughs> you did that's an awesome song well done and uh, again congratulations on uh, on the new addition to the family i know you got a roll here so we won't keep you too long uh, Three-month-old Elle is going to be pretty proud of her dad. It's a pretty cool cat. Oh, man, I appreciate it. Thank you. And by the way, select dates on the CMT hit list tour as well. Uh, most of them out west? Uh, I think so. Uh, I actually just found out the news this morning when I was over at CMT uh, shooting the Chevy Top 20 with, uh, with Paul McGuire, which is a show you guys probably watch. Yep. Um, yeah, so I'm excited. I'm just I'm excited to be out there on the road with those guys. Emerson's great. Obviously, Doc, Aaron Pritchett. It's going to be a really, really good time. Good. Well, try to get your own tour bus riding around on the same <laughs> bus with oh, holy smokes. It could be, it could be bad. Safe travels to you. Thank again. you. Congratulations. The new CD out uh, online in stores uh, December 4th. Uh, Tebe, travel safe. All the best to you and your new young family. Awesome. Thanks for having me, guys.